More than 100 Trayvon Martin supporters stood outside the Syracuse Federal Building today, protesting last week's verdict in the George Zimmerman murder trial. Protesters held signs showing their message, no justice, no peace, and chants of We Are Trayvon Martin echoed against the walls of the building. Syracuse is just one of 100 cities nationwide that held a vigil today. Organizers say they're trying to put pressure on the government to repeal Stand Your Ground law. We understand uh, the obligation of prosecution to prove guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. However, in this climate, we need to repeal every Stand Your Ground law and similar type of self-defense law of this nature throughout the United States. It's a sentiment that President Obama also addressed just yesterday. And for those who, uh, who resist that idea that we should think about something like these stand your ground laws, uh, I just ask people to consider if Trayvon Martin was of age and armed, could he have stood his ground on that sidewalk? That was just one of the questions protesters raised today in Syracuse. Derek Ford is a volunteer organizer for the Syracuse Answer Coalition and someone who sees the injustices from a different perspective. But obviously, I'm a white person, and so to some extent, you know, um, I'm not Trayvon Martin, right? If I'm walking in the street with a hood, uh, people, are gonna, people are gonna act a little bit differently towards me, right? But that doesn't mean that I can't unite and struggle, and it doesn't mean that I can't, that I can't make damn sure that Trayvon's enemies are my enemies. And while the majority of the crowd agrees we as a nation have come a long way, the events surrounding the George Zimmerman case remind us that we still have a long way to go. Reporting from Syracuse, I'm Quindell Williams.